Yeah, it sounds like the Strickland camp is probably getting increasingly nervous about our momentum. The last time you and I were together, obviously Governor Dick Celeste, the only two-term Democratic governor of Ohio in the last 60 years, had just endorsed my candidacy. We've had, you know, from big city mayors to big county prosecutors and sheriffs come out and endorse us, and then these newspapers just recently. Look, I, I absolutely stand by what I said. I think for Ted Strickland to not debate me, look, I should probably feel flattered that he doesn't think the comparison would be flattering uh, to stand side by side with me on a debate stage, but the people he's really insulting are the voters of Ohio and the democratic process. To not be willing to go before the voters, say, I'm going to articulate my vision, and then I'm going to stand with my opponent, they're going to articulate their vision, and then you, the voters, can decide, I don't know, wanting to short circuit the, the people, I don't think, well, that's not what our democratic process is all about. I think that's why a lot of people have felt disappointed in Ted ducking and dodging all these debates. If you were in the Senate today, how would you handle President Obama's uh, surprise?